Well, hello everyone. My name is Ricky. Apologize, this is taking a little bit of time to come out of the next playthrough for the second channel. I was originally going to do Call of Duty, then I decided against it. I was going to do Battlefront, then I definitely decided against that, and I wasn't quite sure what to do. So then I decided to jump into the Game Awards a little bit, and I saw a lot for what remains of Edith Finch. And I thought, why not go ahead and, uh, you know, see what all the see what all the fuss is about. So. As you can see here, we have a little journal. It says Edith Fish. Looks like my arm is broken. I have a little bit of a couple of flowers, which is cute. Oh, I got it. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. Oh, she's sorry. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay. The house. Oh, I can move. Is there a possibility that I could? I see. I tried to put on subtitles earlier. But I cannot seem to find, oopsie, cannot seem to find subtitles, which is a little too bad. So if there are no, oh, hey, look, oh, hey, there's me, Edith. Oh, it's a family tree. Oh, there's, okay. The Finches. All right. So I can't seem to find any subtitles, so let's hope it's going to be fine. Oh, so here I am, this little broken gate. And this big old tower in the middle of nowhere. I lived here oh. until I was eleven. Oh, there's I wasn't subtitles. Inside half the rooms. Well, I, I can understand. It doesn't look it doesn't look very safe. Did you put your mailbox this far away from the house? Oh. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Yeah, yeah, there was. Let's close that. Can I look at the paper? What's this? Orias Island Gazette. Or Orcas Island Gazette. Or is it Gazelle? No, it's Gazette. It's a cute little house. It's like a house on a house. I no. hadn't been back since oh. my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, your brother died. Well, it says no trespassing, so I... Well, everyone, it was wonderful uh, having playing this game with you. You know, I think... Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, I'm trespassing. Oh, but... Come on, game. You're making... I don't feel comfortable anymore. I feel very uncomfortable. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The finches! Oh, there's a bunch of little finch birds. Fin well, finches, you know. I can go down or around. I'm gonna go around. Okay, so shift zooms in. So it's wait, so it's right click. Ah, so there's not there's no real like uh sprint button. So I'm just kinda chilling through the woods. Alright, I need to I need to I'm kind of engross myself. Time, but I saw a few have prints. Okay, so they have horses. I need to engross myself in the story. That's this, this seems like one of those games you really gotta like get into. Oh, that's not a horse. Hot. Hello? Oh, it's gone. Bye. Alrighty. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Okay, so but now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Okay, so your parents died. You inherited the house. Wow, that's a really cool house, actually. I don't. I still don't feel super comfortable with the the scaffoldings and and, and the crazy built into tree side section. The house was exactly like I remembered it. This the way I'd been dreaming about it. Yeah. Your truck. Ah, so they're in Washington State. Okay. Washington State. Damn, that's a crazy. Wait, is that a little alligator? Dude, you lived in quite the place. Milton Finch. Information about Milton called the Orcas Island Police Department. Wait, Orcas Island. So that's that's. So there's there. I don't know much about Washington State. So is there a place called Orcas Island? Oh hey, I got a little thing on my neck. There are place. So am I on an actual island, or is it just the name of a? Uh, the name of a, of a town. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. A fear of heights would be a good one. Now, 
as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. Okay. I was afraid of the house. Not, not, not the, the heights of the house. Okay, so, you're, so she's 17. So she's 17, lives in Washington State in this Orcas Island area. Uh, her parents are dead and her brother went missing. Hello. The house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. Oh yeah, this is an island. Yeah, look at all the water over there. Wow. We lived in a nice place. Is there a crouch button? C? No. Oh, I, c I can stare at this though. Hello. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. My controller vibrated. We don't- we don't need that. I, I guess we're unplugging the controller now. Oh, hello. The power had been turned off the night we left. Oh, then why would you try that? Oh, whatever. What kind of cleaning supplies do we have? We've got eco-friendly, the something solution. I don't- I don't know what most of these things are. Is that dog food? It looks like dog food. Potting mix. That might not be dog food. Is that a fry? No, no, it's just a cooler. No, nah, I can't tell what that says. This, is, this, this almost reminds me of my garage a little bit. Very uh, cluttered. Lots of shit in here. At least the power works. For the first time in years... Yes? I felt like I was home. You really liked books. God damn, what kind of books are they? Which Witch's Kitchen, The Holiday Feast, A Viking's Belly, The Nordic Cookbook. Wow, you really enjoy the North. Ah, huh, they really had a lot of like Viking, like Scandinavian or, you know, Nor but Nordic. Instead of a family, oh. there were just memories of one. Nordic culture. There's a lot of Nordic stuff in here. Fish and shellfish, the Pacific Pantry. Huh. What does that sound? Just the wind? Maybe up there? Oh, hello. What's this? Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Imperial Palace. 389 Storecrop Avenue, Orcas Island, Washington. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Molly. Yeah, Molly would never give a shit. Wow, that is a lot of salmon, though. Apple pie. Six cups of sliced peeled tart apples, two tablespoons of water, one tablespoon lemon juice. Huh. Loving memory, Lewis Finch. Oh, shit. So December 27th, 1988 to November 21st, 2010. So he was 22. Oh, shit, he's my age. Ah, oh, shit, this is bad news. Beloved brother to Edith, that's me. Son of Dawn, great grandson to Eddie. Yeah, memorial service, Finch Family Cemetery off of uh, Fiery Road. Okay, so uh, there's me. Dawn is the mother. There's Lewis and Eddie, or Edie, however it's said, is the grandmother. Got you. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on a second. This is the exact same file of books! These are the exact same books! <gasps> Zero out of ten. Worst game. Too much water. There we go. Cosmic Quiz. Wow, they really- The Book of Mushroom. They really liked fucking, uh, uh, cookbooks, man. What's down here? The Sublime Supper. Uh-oh. What the hell? The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Oh, but, but you had Chinese again. Okay, your grandmother was on oxygen. That's normal, but unfortunate. Wine. Why is it all tipped over and stuff? Is, was there a fight? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Uh, so she was trying to get her to live in a nursing home, huh? Ah, she's in a wheelchair and on oxygen. You know, it's. 
as someone who has gone into nursing homes a significant amount of times, please, if you can, if you, if you, if you, you know, can afford to not have them there, don't put them in there. That place, is, those places are hell holes. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. They're actually hell holes. Just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Yeah, you know, like... Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Sank? I do like bricks, though. Oh, it went through the chimney. Nice TV. Oh, this is a really cool table. It's like the, the, the cut-out stump of a tree, kind of. That's actually really cool. Please don't put your elderly people in, in convalescent homes. Barbara. I gotta, like, twist my mouse. What if this is better play with a controller? Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. Along with the rest of the house. That was Barbara Finch. She was a director? Or an actor? Actress? I want to really explore the rest of the house before I open that door over there. Oh, that's got like a... Oh, hello. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Okay, so something something crazy went ha happened the my last night. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, no, he 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 died. Nope. Or or maybe they. Oh, hey, they got one of those little chairs. Or maybe they. Uh, you know, maybe they held a f uh, memorial for him because they didn't know. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. That's funny. This is a really nice house, though. So many books. Oh, oh, that's a really that's actually so cool. A little saw made into a painting. That's awesome. That's some really cool decor. Oh, look at you, handsome. <laughs> that's Molly, nineteen thirty-seven to nineteen forty-seven. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with, if she hadn't died in nineteen forty-seven. Okay, so she was long dead. This has been a, a, a house passed on to many, many generations then. Mo Molly died a while, a while ago. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Great Uncle Walter. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. This place is cool, dude. I like this place. It's all like... It's cool, man. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Well, should we believe him? Ah, cool. Twenty thousand leagues out, under the my sea. My mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Um. Yeah, let me. I, I kind of want to go look through the peepholes of every other room first, if you don't mind. I'm kind of curious. Oh, what's this? Whenever people ask me about my family... Oh, she was an actress. The first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Okay. She was she was an actress. In, uh, as Bigfoot. My friend Bigfoot. Oh. There's a lot in this. Oh, uh, so here's Barbara's room. Ah, uh, so she, she was in the 50s. Wait, she died at 16. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. She died at 16? How? How the hell did? How the hell happened? Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Uh, well, there's a there's a wire coming out of it that's being plugged in currently. It sucks. Sven and Eddie. Oh, so Eddie was alive for a very long time. Wow, she died at 93. And it would appear her husband, I would imagine, hence the Finch name, uh, died at uh, 49. So pretty early. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, wait, wait, I can look through my, my family tree. Wait, so 
you had Eddie, well, you said Odin, and then Eddie. Eddie and Sven. Who had Sam, Kelvin, Barbara, and Molly. Well, I, I'm not sure how, I don't, I don't quite remember how uh, family trees work. So wait, it's me, Milton, and Lewis. Wait a minute, Milton... Wait, no, Lewis died. That's not the one that went missing. Lewis died. Milton went missing. Milton went missing... He, either Or he died at 11. Lewis died at 22. Don't know why. Molly, Barbara... Oh, what the hell? 10 years? 16 years? 11 years? 33 years on that one. But why are these kids all dying so young? This is Gregory. Three years. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. This is kind of a weird one. It's like a big fuzzy ground. And f it's all fuzz. Gregory, it's only... Oh, it's only one year. I'm confused. Are they, did they die, or is that just how long they lived in the house? Because that, that could just be how long they lived in the house. 11 on Calvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Okay, no, he definitely died. Calvin and Sam. That's Sven. Sven. Sven Skarin. Eh. Alright. That's Molly. Okay. Let's see what the hell this is all about. What'd you hide from me? I can't stand up. Nice little... Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. <laughs> That's a cool cat. What a cool cat. A little baby carriage with some dolls. This is like a, a, a place to chill. This guy was like wanting to no get away. what was behind that door. Oh, hello. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Saving? This is Molly's room, yeah. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. <sighs> Can't open that. We got here lots of uh lots of bugs. There's a scorpion, a beetle, starfish that you dissected with a butter knife, butterfly, a little Christmas tree that's all whittled and dead. Fax. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Your mom seems like kind of a horrible person, or maybe she was just grieving. She could have just been grieving. What's this, Molly Finch? Dear December diary. 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Don't tell me you ate your lizard or something. Gerbil food! Gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Sorry, gerbil. Wait, where's the gerbil? The gerbil's not even here. And then I ate the fish, too. Aw, oh, damn. Wait. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. I was right. I kept eating and eating. Ew. I ate a lot of things that night. Those are fake. Those are most likely not real. I... 
then I heard chirping outside my window. Hi, bird. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. Oh. I reached out for her. Oh. And suddenly, I was a cat. All right, man. I'm on. I'm on. I. I think I'm on a, a couple of drugs. I don't. I don't know. Meow. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Meow. 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 Thank God I can't fuck up. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Fucking dick. I Come I'm a cat. I could tell she was getting really tired. I don't I'm gonna eat this bird, aren't now, I? I was up in the big tree. I promised Sad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Where? Wait, I'm just flying. I... Rabbits. Rabbits! Come here, you! Nailed it. I got you. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Alright, what, what drugs is this girl on? What drugs are you on, lady? I don't... I... A mama rabbit. A mama rabbit. I I got the I got the owl the she rabbit. Was almost too big to carry. Oh oh. Choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh god! Oh god, help me! Wait, I, I cl clicking the mouse makes me flop. I'm I'm a shark. What? I rolled the? off the cliff and into the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. I don't know what the hell's going on, man. Grr! I'm a I'm a shark. Wait. I wanted fat, juicy seeds. Come here, you seal! Come here, you fat seal! I can't, this is really hard to control, man. I don't know what's going on. Where'd it go? Wait, no, that, no, okay. WASD controls my motion. Got him! I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. I don't know how I feel about this. Just, 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 I just want to be a shark. Do, do, doing shark things. I don't feel comfortable. Can't find the seal anymore. I've lost the seal. Like here or something. Come on, man. Where'd the where'd the seal go? I'm 
hearing like bubbling and stuff. I can't I can't find the seal. I'm lost. Save me, shark friend. Wants me to the surface. Ah, oh, I can't. Ah, oh, there she is. Come here, you. Sorry. But this is nature. I grabbed on tight. Oh, I'm yeah. So hungry. Jumped out of the water. And then I was a when human. I opened my eyes, everything had changed. I'm an eel. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. I, I, am I an actual monster? Or am I just an eel? This game is, is getting it's freaking me out, man. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Yes, ah! Oh. Oh, I, I killed that guy. I wanted to stop, but also I did it. Doing the morning. Now, a whale? Nope, I'm still a monster. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. I don't. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Am I in the house? I got closer and closer. Yeah, I am. Perhaps under the bed? Oh. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Under the bed. It was obviously just a dream, I'm sure, but, uh, that was a trip. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Okay, that's kind of cute. I can't leave that way? Okay. Well, Molly's done with, if I recall. Wait, I can't go that way either. Wait a minute. How the hell did I get out of here? Oh. Meow. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Yeah. 
Edie would have, but Mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Wait. We adopted a stray kitten. She was the one who named it Molly? Is that why Molly would died so quickly? Because it was a cat? Okay. Okay, is there a save button? Yeah, this this works. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to part two now. And gonna go I I'll see you in the next episode of whatever the hell this game is. Alright.